That's so weird. What are you doing up here? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. What's going on everybody? Caesar here with Z1 Gaming and we're back. We're playing some more Astroneer. So uh, we're still playing update 196. Haven't seen any experimental stuff yet. However, I did watch a vlog today uh, from System Air and they said that there's an experimental patch coming out soon. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode, I think we're going to get some research done. Um, I started building a wall here and actually I'm kind of playing with the idea of building a pyramid thing over my base in this episode because I have seen from lots of people that the storms can be pretty nasty to uh, nasty to the vehicles so we might want to build indoors and I'm, I was kind of playing with this just trying to get the uh, the right uh, the right angle I guess to make it completely flat because I know there's like one is that it Did I find it I don't know if that's it maybe uh, anyways, it's close. It's close. And plus, you know what? I figured it'd be good to have a wall there anyways, just in case the storm comes. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is probably go and try to find some research, I believe. I think that's probably the best course of action. I think I'm going to build another rover so I can make like a little trailer dealio. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, luckily, there's some compound right over here. Cool. Got the compound that we need. Let's just go ahead and build this bad boy up real quick. Look at that. Starting the episode by building another, another rover. Take this guy off of here, throw him on here, we'll go park him. Is there a storm coming? No. Huh. I thought I heard a storm. I was kind of excited because I want to see... Uh, let's, okay, let's let's go with this one first then. Uh, terrible idea. Terrible. Just terrible. We'll go this way and pick up this trailer. Don't lose my solar panel. Don't you do it. Don't you even think about it. Okay, we'll go this way. Like this. And like that. I wonder how the trailer pulling is now. Uh, because it should be better, right? It should be. It should be better. We'll see. Is this still tethered? Why can't I? There. Okay. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Um. But yeah, so we're gonna go look for some research. Uh, okay. Okay, it's it's pulling. It's pulling, guys. Guys, it's pulling. It's pulling, good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go look for some research. I think we'll throw. Let's throw this guy back here. I guess we could put one on the front too. I'll take the one off of me. No. Incorrect. Wrong. What are you doing? That's not where I'm there. Aha. So we got one in the front and one on the trailer. We should be good. As soon as the sun comes out, we'll be set for research. Um, okay. So we need to get our cardinal directions down here. Uh, we are going to head west. We're going to head that way, I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to head west. So we'll have to come back east in order to hit our base. Perfect. Perfect. We won't, we don't want to get lost. That's no fun. It is absolutely no fun getting lost and losing your base and losing all your stuff that you work so hard for, then you die and then you lose everything in your backpack. It's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. So we definitely got to check these plants now because these plants have proven me wrong. See, see that I, I don't normally get them from those. That was so funny that literally the one time is that one charging back there? It is. It is charging. Perfect. Um, I, the one time that I got something from that was the time I was recording. I was like, oh, I won't get anything from here. You know what? We might as well stop and get this. There's really no reason not to get this because we're going to need it for the vehicles anyways. And the solar power will just top us off. Actually, I'll keep it on my backpack. That's what I do. I'll keep it in my bag. And then when nighttime comes, we can use it then. Because I think even... <gasps> oh! Looky there. We got a giant solar panel. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we'll try to hook this up. I need to get the the winch though. I have to get the winch before I can do anything. I don't think I. Is there any? Hmm. Is there any way I can move this without a winch? I'm just thinking like, what are the odds that if I dropped it like on my truck in my trailer, if it would uh, give me like actually let me move the thing? Wait a second. If there's wind storms, how do I block this from getting blown away, but still allow it to be in the sun? Oh. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, man. I'm excited to see this. Okay, so uh, that's what we're going to try to do. What the heck? There. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? This is just like perfectly like it is. We could just literally just hook up to it and just go boop, get some power off it. But we don't need that. We don't need that. Um, do I have another? Do I have another thing? I don't have another thing. Let's go over here and get another thing. Uh, a thing of compound that is so we can drop a beacon down so we don't forget about the satellite because that would be terrible That would be just terrible if we forgot about this beautiful satellite 
Okay, there's that. No, I don't want the work light. I want a beacon. One beacon coming right up. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's just because I have my pack open. Okay. I was like, wow, do I really move that slow now? But we'll just drop this guy down here. And boop. I love the sound of the beacon. It's a very satisfying sound. Like, if, if a beacon was to make a sound, that's the sound it would make. Like, it's, it's absolutely perfect. They nailed it on that one. What is over here? Oh, that's a compound. That's a compound little rock over there. Okay, it looks like we're getting to the hillier side of things now. Biome's changing a little bit. Did I hear a storm? No. Oh, man, I'm actually kind of worried about the storms now because I don't know what they're going to do, like, with me and my truck. I mean, I'm sure I'm probably still safe, but I don't want to get blown around and, like, lose things. Should I, I should put a beacon on my vehicles. That might not actually be... Whoa, 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 hold on. What's that green thing? Is that green thing a research? What is that? Wait, is that one of those spiky plant dealios? Oh, that's so weird. It's one of the gas guys. What are you doing on the surface? That's so weird. What are you doing up here? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Back to the mission. Oh, there's a tree. There's a tree. Trees have research in them. Uh, you know what? It might just be faster to run. Let's just run over here and grab this guy. Uh, usually there's a research in the tree. Maybe there's a research under the tree. Can we look under the tree? Let's do that. So the tree does not deliver any uh, valuable goods. Does this thing have any? What the heck? What the heck's going on here? Where's all my research at? Where's all my research? This tree didn't have any on it. This is terrible. What that tree? No, and oxygen's at 50%. I don't want to die. Come on. Hmm. Okay, we got to find more research pots. Research? I'm, I cannot wait. I know they said they're working on a research, like, 2.0. Hey, look at oxygen. We're good now. Um, well, is it 2.0 or is it, like, 3.0? I don't know. They've changed the uh, research system quite a bit since the, since the beginning. And I'm, I'm excited about the next one because the first one was too easy. You could unlock everything super fast. The second one was too hard. It took forever to do anything, which is not any fun. And then the kind of what it is now it's a little bit in between i would still say it's more towards the harder grindier there's a there's a research pod under that guy i could see it before the the terrain loaded in i'm almost positive um i'd say it's more towards the grindier part in that you don't necessarily even unlock everything because um i know i had saves i know this has a yellow thing under it i i'm almost positive i saw it before the game loaded in haha <laughs> see look at that I'm not cheating, I just took advantage of what I could see when I could see it, okay? Alright, comment section down below, I know, I'm aware, um, but I, I have had a couple games where I could not receive everything, I could not get everything, uh, I could not get everything because I just, I just couldn't do it, like, no matter how many research pods I opened, no matter what types of research pods I opened, I never got them, and... That was kind of a bummer. It was kind of a bummer to me because some of them were basic, like storage. I, in it's my personal opinion, I think the basic storage module should be, what the heck? Uh, I feel like it should be from the get-go. You should be able to have it from the very beginning because all it is is storage. I understand like it, it, I mean, I guess I could see, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think the storage module, the basic storage module that, what the heck? I need that. Quit rolling away. Quit it. What was going on there? I thought I set you down here for... Wait, are my beacons going to blow away now too? What if I did this? There. Maybe not. <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't even think about that. Um, Because we're getting into trees now. And look, I can see research there. There. Uh, I thought I saw one up there. No? I thought I saw one over there. No? There's one. Uh, I think it's one over there. So there's research all around us now. Uh, but we have to head back because we have our max slots filled. Actually, actually, we do not. Oh, let's see if it works. Let's see if the bug still works. Does the carry bug still work? I really hope it does. I really do. Uh, you know what? While this is doing this, let's go ahead and take this guy. Put this one here like that. Let it fill up. Where's the... Oh, it's this one. Ha! Okay, so you can still reach super far. That's great. Okay. And now there's one little knob. Uh, we'll just leave that there. Okay. 
So, does this still work? Tab and click at the same time? It does! Yes, it does work! Oh, I'm glad. That's like one of my favorite bugs and glitches in the game right now. Um, gosh, what was I even talking about? Man, I get really off subject really fast. Uh, oh, research curves and things like that, I think. Um, but yeah, oh, the storage! The storage! Ha ha! Train of thought. Here it comes, choo-choo! Uh, do you think it should be a basic item? I kind of feel like it should. It should be like the seat and the storage items. Um, I can get, I can, I can understand the reasoning behind making it not because if you have a vehicle with that on, then you can instantly go out and start getting a lot of resources really fast. But at the same time, like storage just keeps your base nice and clean. And then with the whole implementation of storms blowing stuff away, like you're going to have to dig holes and just put stuff in holes. And that's just not fun. But then I don't know. I could see, I could argue both ways. I could, uh, I would prefer it to be unlocked from the beginning because it gets really irritating being late game, having everything unlocked, being able to go to any planet, having multiple bases on multiple planets and not even having the basic storage thing unlocked. It just, it drives me absolutely wild. So I kind of, I don't know. I kind of want that to be a thing or maybe, I don't know, maybe have like a, kind of like a progression system or something where you like unlock certain things in a certain order maybe kind of like a sword thing would be kind of a basic thing to unlock you know i don't know i don't know let's get back to base here and let's get some of these guys cracked open hopefully we can get some new items i'm sure we will i'm pretty sure these two white pods in the middle are going to give us the augments because that's what they like to give out they like to give out augments that's just how it is so we're probably gonna get those from that so let's get back here let's get these things opening up what are we gonna get from box number one what's in the box number one Come on, if it would be the winch, that'd be perfect. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited, it's so winch. So that means this episode is about getting the solar power. We're gonna get the base solar power, we're gonna do it. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys already knew it because you already clicked on the thumbnail that probably has a so giant satellite in it and probably says something along, uh, along the lines of giant solar power base or something, I don't know. Uh, so, oh, that's, oh, that's so exciting. The first one too, the very first one. Ooh. Oh, no. We need titanium. Oh, that's a thing. That's a thing, though. Which titanium? Hmm. We're gonna have to go deep caving for that. Titanium? I mean, it's on the surface of Arid or the training knowledge. That's the most worthless one out of all of them. The most worthless one. I'm not even going to make it because I don't like it. I don't like it. All it does is color stuff. It copies the color of something and then you can paint it everywhere, which is... It's cool for decorating, but like... I don't know, I feel like it's bugged out because ever since I, <laughs> I swear, ever since I've used it, I always use gray, unless, maybe that was a change. Maybe they changed it so every time you use something without a train analyzer, it's gray. That could very well be, actually. Actually, you know what, we're gonna build one. Because if I build a pyramid over our base, I kinda want it to match like the surrounding area, right? Yeah, absolutely. Open three seat, that's gonna do me no good, thank you. Uh, oh, there's grass and stuff growing on this already. Is this perfectly flat right here? Oh, I think it is. I think right here is it. Is this it? I mean, for this side at least, maybe. Is this it? Are you perfectly flat? Are you perfectly flat? I want to know. I don't think it is. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's not co perfectly, completely flat. Because look, it's, it's starting to do something down there. Are you? I don't think so. It's not. It's not. It's almost so. Jeez, it's almost. Like, it's so close to being perfect. You know what? We might just roll with it. We might just roll with it because I think that might be the closest we get to it. Okay, let's open this up. This guy. That might be the closest we get to it. Yeah. Oh, what did we get out of here? This is copper. Work light. Tethers. Train analyzer. Mm, we could use it. We could use it. You know what? All right. I'm gonna make it just for you guys. For those of you that do not know what the terrain analyzer do does, guess what? You're about to get educated. Dropping some knowledge on you guys. Here it is. So, put this guy on here, on there, like that. Um, I said I want this to blend in with the surroundings, so we're gonna go with this. It is going to take in the color. What's going on here? What's going on here? Why? 
What? I guess it only works with grass? I don't understand what's going on here. Because before it worked with any dirt, like, it better be gray. Or it better not be gray. Okay, so, uh, you suck up the color that you want, and I would think this would work really good with an inhibitor, probably. So now, now that I have that on there, watch this, you're prepared to be amazed. It's going to turn this all, it's going to build everything in brown now. That's what it's going to do, because if you, if you know building in the, in the previous versions, uh, when you get to like certain heights, it just changes colors on its own, because like at that height, that's the color it would be, I guess. Um, so this, this stops that, this makes it just stay one color. But like I said, we kind of want it to be this color so it blends in with the surroundings and then it's like, it's kind of looks all natural, if you will. Uh, so this pyramid thing, probably gonna be a different episode. And because I'm gonna, I need to get my solar stuff figured out, but I need to get titanium for that. So we're gonna take a rover down into, actually how much compound do I have? I have quite a bit. I do have quite a bit, uh, but we're gonna take this off of here because I don't care. And then you can, I think you can have like a whole color palette of this. Uh, once you use this once, that's it forever. It's always going to be like that no matter what you do. So this is always going to be brown. And if I want to go get gray again, or blue, or green, or white, anything really. Oh, we could make it white. It'd be like a snowy, a uh, snow fort castle thing. Uh, we're not going to do that. Um, not right now. Anyways, okay. So let's get back onto track here. We need to get titanium so we can bring the solar panel over here so we can do some, do some work. Do some work. So we're gonna take this guy. Um, titanium. I, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there's titanium. There's titanium down here. There is. There's, there's gotta be. There's gotta be titanium down. What did I get out of the? What did I get out of the other thing? Oh, I just got the. Uh, that's right. I just got the, the copper. Okay. Uh, so we want to head down into like the uh the next lit man um we're gonna leave it here we're gonna walk we're walking from here uh we're gonna head down to the next layer of caves i hope let's hold on let's check before we before we bring tethers all the way down here let's check to make sure this is the next layer it doesn't okay so there's a layer opening right here uh now uh, for those of you who do not know because you may not know or you might be playing this game and just now find out about this thing um there's typically levels of caves, and I think there's three. I think there's like uh, different planes, I guess, of depth. So you have uh, the first layer, which has usually these kind of looking plants in it, and then gas pods and research and things like that. And you'll find, you know, aluminum, copper things. This is all terrain planet, by the way. All of this pertains, pertains to terrain planet. Uh, so that's the first layer, and this is part of the first layer as well. So we're going to head down to second layer. Second layer typically has... Um, it's a little bit more open. Okay, sorry. Back to what I was saying. Uh, there was some, I don't know, someone was honking their horn outside. It was really obnoxious. Obnoxious! Um, don't people know I'm recording here? I mean, come on. Uh, so the different layers. There's, <laughs> it's like an onion. Onions have layers. You gotta peel back the layers. Uh, this, I believe, is, I think this is layer two. We're gonna double check. Because I'm almost positive there's always three layers. Uh, <laughs> three levels. Ooh, we gotta wash our oxygen. And then, usually, the second layer is pretty fairly open. And then, the third is usually, like, the biggest, openest cavern. Has, like, satellites and stuff in it. Uh, that might have been it, actually. That might have been the third layer. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, it probably was. Probably was. Because, typically, the bottom of these things is, like, the bottom. Okay. Uh, so that means maybe that was layer three. Maybe there's only two layers. I could have swore there was three. I'm almost positive there's normally three. But anyways, I digress. The lowest layer is usually open. It has all of your uh, more rare resources, I would say, if you will. Uh, like titanium, for instance, because we're looking for titanium. So that's kind of where I want to go look at. I kind of want to look up right here. So we're going to leave this little deal here. And we're going to go look in this this layer. We're gonna check out this layer and see if we can't find some titanium. And hopefully we can, that way we can make the winch, that way we can get the uh, satellite over here. You guys apparently already know if I'm gonna get the satellite over here or not, because uh, the thumbnail probably says so. <laughs> it's really, it's kinda, it's really weird how YouTube works, isn't it? Just, it's just funny. Hey, 
There's a satellite. There's a satellite over here. Oh, it's this guy! Hey, buddy! What's going on? Oh, there's research on you. Oh, cool. What's going on? Not floating away anymore. Alright. Hey, you you just hang out there. You hang out there. I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna go try to find titanium. You just hang out, have a good time, and we'll do this. Interesting. We got another satellite here. Hmm. Funny. You know, I feel like this one's a little different. Huh. I don't know why. I don't think so. I don't think it's any different. I don't think it's any different. I think it's the same. Uh, there was a research spot on it. I pulled it off real quick. And we're still looking for titanium. Because that's what we're here for. There's aluminum, and there's copper, and there's hydrazine. I didn't even see that. There's hydrazine there, too. Uh, but no titanium yet. So we're continuing. Uh, uh, I have one more thing of research pod steel. Oh, let's get these guys. Pop. Haha, <laughs> they're gone. And I need some titanium. I need two. And we're always going to be looking for a astroneer as well, because a lot of times astroneers... Hey, is that the satellite that... What the heck? Is that another one? It is! That's so interesting! Because, you know, before... I don't think I've ever seen these before. Now there's two of them. Interesting. Interesting. I haven't seen zebra balls yet, either. Hmm. Things to think about here. Okay. Uh, so yes, back to the hunt for titanium. Oh, we have an astroneer. Do you have any titanium? Aluminum? Lithium. Oh, I'll take lithium. Uh, OT tank. I'll take that. And small battery and aluminum and that. Why not? And, nah, we don't need that. We don't need dynamite. Dynamite was really cool when it first came out. However, the uses for it are, uh, if you're, if you're not just messing around, there's really not a whole lot of uses for it. I know you can blow up, like, parts of your base with it. But as far as I know, it renders it like uh, like that little that node kind of useless. You can't build off of it anymore. So I I don't know. Plus, oh, hey, there's another one. I, mean, I want titanium. I mean, lithium is cool. I'm good with lithium. I don't want this, though. I don't want that. I want this. And then, oh, another O2 tank. I like O2 tanks. I really do. Uh, small battery. Eh, not so much. OK, we're good. We're good now. I don't want to do that. Okay. Still looking for titanium. We're going to find this titanium. The next time I talk to you guys, we will have found titanium unless I find something else really cool. In which I think you need to know. Hey, we found our first zebra ball of the game of the season. First one right here. Woo! Okay, we're going to leave it. That's it. That's yeah, I'm done. I am done with the zebra balls because they used to be super cool and super rare. And now they are not. So uh, yeah, I don't I don't care about them anymore, really. I mean, they're cool and fancy, and if I had a rover down here, yeah, bet I would take it back with me, but I don't. Wow. It got really green all of a sudden. What the heck? Interesting. Uh, so, hey, we found a thruster. Cool. Thrusters are fun. I've just been getting stuff setting on the surface. So, I have, um, I keep getting these oxygen tanks because they're super useful when you're looking for stuff because you can just, I mean, I got them for free. They cost me nothing, and I just throw them on when I see oxygen, I pick it up. And then it fills up one, and I actually have two more bubbles right here. And then I have those two on the top. So I can actually run around quite a bit without having to worry about the O2s. Um, I ran around here. I did not see any titanium. So we're going to check out uh, this other direction and go from there. Ooh, we have one piece of titanium. Uh, uh, we'll get rid of that. No, I don't want the aluminum. I want the titanium. That's not what I want. I want this. Yes. Oh, I like it. Um, uh, battery, oxygen, work light. I guess we could get rid of the work light. I built a work light just because I kind of wanted to see what it would look like uh, down here in the dark. Actually, you know what? Is there anything that uses anything? No. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave everything else behind. So we got one titanium now. I haven't seen any titanium down here, which I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm a little puzzled by because normally I would have found titanium by now. But I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. We got one. Uh, I'm trying to pull this research off of everything. There. Got it. Okay. And then hopefully one day we'll come down here with a rover or something. And maybe a large rover. Maybe. That would be nice. It, what's that? What is that? What are you? What are you? Are you a terrain analyzer? Oh, why? Why a terrain analyzer? Why not a narrow mod or a wide mod? Ugh. Um. Wait, is this the same area? Is this not the same area? Oh, no, 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 it totally is. It totally is. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go up to the next level, I think, and look for 
Just look for more stuff. I'm kind of looking for more Astroneers. Because Astroneers usually have a pretty decent chance of having Titanium on their back. I would say, you know, like 1 in 8 maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, it's probably more than that, but still, you know, uh, the joke. The joke is still there. Titanium? Do you have Titanium? Do you have Titanium? Oh, <gasps> yes! Okay, so we got our second Titanium. Perfect! That's what exactly what we needed. Um, we'll, we'll keep everything else. Perfect! So, we're gonna head back to the base now. We're gonna build up a winch and we're gonna drag that solar panel to our base, hook it up, make some super solar panel power. And then that should supply our base for like indefinitely. Um, I'm a little worried actually because I found like, I found like three or four thrusters already. But I haven't found my tethers yet. So I might be in that whole like lost uh, boat kind of thing. Uh, I'm not sure. And my oxygen is- Oh! Tethers! I found the tethers. Oh my gosh. I was getting worried. Oh, I was so worried. Wait, where the heck? Oh! I came this way. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I did it. I did it. I survived. We're gonna head back to the top now. And I'll see you there. Alright! We're back at base! Okay, cool. So we're gonna make the winch. And we're gonna try to go get that solar panel. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Should be pretty easy. I grabbed this guy, brought him up with me. I didn't want to carry up a whole bunch with me because it just takes time. It just takes time, you know? And the time isn't exactly what I have an entire lot of. I mean, of course I have time. Uh, oh, what are we gonna get researched? Come on. What are we gonna get? Please large rover. That'd be fantastic. Drillhead. Ah, uh, not so fantastic. Oh well. We'll use it uh, eventually, maybe. Maybe not. <gasps> oh, there's a storm. Oh, let's, let's get in. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. I want to see what happens. I'm so excited. Guys, I hope you're excited I'm excited. Because I have loose stuff hanging out. Oh, jeez. And I have that. Oh. Oh, I'm already starting to get blown away. Oh, I'm already moving. There's no handbrake. Oh, jeez. Things are already getting crazy. Wait, it looks like it's not going to get... You know what? Go chase it! I don't think it's going to hit our base. It's not. I want to go to it. We're going to it. I don't care. Oh, the wind. Oh, the wind. The wind is so bad. <laughs> Are we gonna get blown around? <gasps> oh no, we are! Oh, this is cool! Oh, it's fun! Urgh. I'm coming in here, Storm! You are mine! I shall claim you! Oh my gosh, so I'm not holding anything right now, and it's just- I'm- I'm tumbling. I'm tumbling. I don't- I don't want to let go. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't even- Come on, land on the wheels! Land on the wheels! Land on the wheels! No! <laughs> this is so funny! Oh, man! Uh, there's no, there's no shift, uh, an R, maybe, to, like, uh, carjack? Haha, <laughs> uh, cross out joke right there. Um, anyways, so. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna wait until the storm passes because I really can't do anything here. But, uh, you know what? I'd like to take this time. I wanna say thank you guys. You guys have been amazing and super supportive of my channel. The amount of comments I got off of my last Astronaut video was phenomenal. I love all your guys' ideas and I listen to them all. If I don't reply to you, I try to at least like your comment. Just so you know that I looked at it. Uh, I don't I don't necessarily have time to reply to all of them, but I love reading the comments and you guys just have such great ideas. I'm just it's it's so much fun. I'm glad I am really glad you guys are there and supporting my channel. So I just want to say that there was uh, that was just like a spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, OK, well, now I'm out of power, which is unfortunate, but in our base is still standing here. That's good. But the, the other stuff might blow away. I'm not sure. So we need to go get a solar panel, a super solar panel, so we can get super solar panel power. Uh, I need to back up so I can, I can get power. Charged up, ready to rock and roll. So let's go grab this satellite. It's not a satellite. Is it a satellite? It's a satellite. Well, it's a giant solar panel from a satellite, so it is a satellite, I think, kind of. Okay. Uh, it was uh, which way? Uh, it was this way. It was straight this way. We set a, we set a. Oh, it's right there. Okay, it was just really washed out. Just couldn't see it hardly at all. All right, so we're gonna get this guy. We're gonna pull him all the way back to base. I'll probably bring you guys with me because uh, maybe you, there's there's a good chance some of you haven't done this before. Because uh, before a lot of the updates, this was really only one of like the only kind of wreckage there was. I mean, there was a couple other ones, but not like how there is now where there's uh, like stuff laying all over the place. So this was kind of a big deal before, and now it's kind of, it, it almost seems like it kind of got swept under the rug a little bit and kind of pushed away. But we're gonna hook onto this guy. Oh my gosh, hopefully. Hopefully we're gonna hook onto this guy. Let's see. Okay, let's pick up our beacon. And then let's uh, do the. Actually, do I need to leave my beacon out? Because there were some trees this way. We'll just leave the beacon out. That way we know we've been here before. That way we know we won't forget. Okay, we're gonna have it fall this way, I think. This would be. 
It'd be ideal if it would fall this way. Are you are you free yet? What's what's sticking here? What the heck? Oh, haha! There it goes, and it fell the wrong way. Fantastic, fantastic! Look, you can tell it's getting power though. Oh, it's getting power. That's weird. It's like just fading slowly. Oh shoot, oxygen! That's the thing. Uh, we could we could try hook up to there. Let's try hook up to there. Where, whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Oh, it doesn't like the screen moving thing either. Oh, oh, this is... What? The heck? Okay, so this is a pretty bad bug, actually. It doesn't like when you move the screen on this guy either. I don't like that. Because I need to be able to... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like this at all. Uh, that didn't work. What about this? I mean, we got it. Okay, can we bring it back? Come on, and pull! Pull! Okay, cool. We got it. So yeah, this is pretty much how you bring a satellite back. Um, I don't know if you could do this with any of the wreckages. I know it it works for this one, because I've done it lots and lots and lots of times. Well, not lots and lots of times. I've done it probably. Uh, this might be my four, fourth or fifth time doing it. Completely, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, probably like fourth or fifth. So we're going to bring this guy back here. Sometimes it'll detach. I'm really worried about it blowing away in the storm, though. So I don't... Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, no! Okay. All right. Come on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right. We're, we're doing good. I think it's, it is right there. It's so washed out, though. Okay. Come on. No! <laughs> Rolled over again. So you could do this by hand. However, you would be going pretty slow. And uh, you can just hold the winch. And it'll, it'll, it'll bring it with you. It's not like it's too heavy or anything. Uh, but we need to figure out how we want this. I like to usually put it flat on the ground. Uh, so that it can get sun like most of the day. Because if you put it straight up and down. First of all, it's harder to put straight up and down. And then second of all. We got to figure out how we're gonna, where we're going to put this at. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of tempted to put it over here actually. On this side. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it over here on this side. Oh no, come on. Come on. This way. I'm stuck on the holes. See, this is why you don't leave holes everywhere. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Okay. We got it. Now, I need it to flip those a problem. And I think we're just going to actually probably just hook it up right here. To be completely honest with you guys. So, let's see. Let's undo this. And then it's freaking out. Can we get over there? Can we pull? Uh, you didn't, you didn't flip over. Flip over. There. Don't flip over too far, though. Okay. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Let's, uh, let's disconnect this guy again. Disconnect. Bring you over here. Set you down. This guy. We'll attach it right there on the bottom. Hopefully do this all nice and smooth like. That would be fantastic. Okay. Just calm down. Let's, let's not get too crazy here. Uh, okay. Now. In order to get this to work, this will not tether with this directly. You have to have a, uh, a vehicle as a, a conduit, I guess, if you will. So one of these vehicles is going to have to stay here and you got to like build it in, especially with the new storms and stuff. Um, okay, let's drag it. No, 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 no. Too far, too far, too far, too far. Don't, why? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Alrighty. So we have a small problem here, as you may be able to tell. The winch is kind of broken. Uh, I cannot retract it. I cannot do anything with it. I was trying to flip it around because it flipped over way too far one time. And it's just, it's just broken. It's just stuck there. It's, I mean, it's not like causing me to do anything. But you can just see. And if I go too far away, it just like completely disappears. So, because I tried that, I was like, oh, I'll just drive away and let it snap or something. Uh, it doesn't work quite work though. I see. It's not here now. But it still is here. As soon as I get close enough, yep. Wob, I am in range. Um, I don't really know what to do about it. I, I might try just placing this down and putting some dynamite on it and blowing it up, but that's not really what I want to do because I don't have any titanium. I need the titanium. See, and I don't, I don't, there's nothing. I can't do anything. Uh, I can't do anything about it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will just, maybe we'll just leave it on here. <laughs> I mean, it's going to look kind of, kind of wonky. It's going to look a little ridiculous, but I feel like that might be what we have to do. I don't want to. It's not ideal, 
but again, it might be a thing. So let's just let's try to do this the old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned being uh, building underneath of it and lifting up on it. Come on. Okay. Uh, we do this, some of this, get some stairs up here, like of this. Oh shoot! Come on. Go on. Okay. So let's try. See, I can't build too much over my thing. Come on, flip over. I need you to flip. I really, 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 really need you to flip over the other direction because you are all kinds of the wrong way. You are just all kinds of the wrong. Okay, no, that didn't help. Oh, 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 getting close, getting close, getting close. Come on, push, push. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, now I have it going through there. That's not good either. Let's just dig it down, maybe? I have no power. Oh, come on. Okay, so... Oh, man. Things are not working for us right now. Things are not working out in our favor. This is finally what I made. I made like this cage thing around it and I don't like how it looks right now. Uh, it's going to be something we will address in the future. But if my winch would have worked, none of this would have happened. And I made this cage because of the storm thing. Um, I'm probably actually going to put another one right here. Something like this because I just don't want it to blow away. And I think this way I don't think it will. I think it's safe like this. Uh, it's I mean, it's pretty... She's pretty locked down. I don't think it's going anywhere too too quick here. Actually, I just like, I mean, I don't want it freaking out. Okay, so we have it in position. It is in position. Now, I made sure to keep an eye on this guy and where he was because we're going to need this guy. And this guy is going to park uh, somewhere probably right here. Actually, let's fill this in too because uh, this truck this little rover is going to be sacrificed in order to create power for the base uh, because, it, like I said, it's a conduit. It's a conduit system. Oh, there's a storm. Oh, there's a storm. Oh, this is a test. Uh, okay, test, test. This is a big test. Oh, gosh, don't blow it away. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. What if I have this tethered to something? Will that stop it from, like, going anywhere? Like, if I do that and then this? Oh, man. Please don't blow my satellite away. Uh, the winch is blown away. That's funny. Okay, that truck's gonna blow away a little bit. That's fine. The satellite's actually not even moving at all. Like, not even a little bit. And neither is my truck. You know what? Actually, if it's tethered, it won't move. So I don't need to dig it in. I don't need to build that guy in. Uh, he's gonna blow away, though. Unfortunately. 
Because I bet you as soon as we untether, I bet you it blows us away. Huh, I like that. I like that mechanic, because this wasn't gonna <laughs> look at the thing. It's gone. Oh, and you can see it's just getting further away too, because like the little the little things are growing in size. That's funny. Uh, so if you're tethered up, it won't blow your stuff away. Okay, that's cool. That's really good to know. Unless I'm like behind because I'm behind that. Uh fight the wind. Fight the wind. Oh, now there's boxes. Oh, see, I'm good right here. Wait, what if I'm behind this? Is there like a, a wall structure kind of thing in here? Oh, there is. Or the storm just ended. I don't know. Either way. You know what? We're going to build a thing around it just to be safe. Just to be safe. Okay. So. That guy's going to go there. And then this guy is going to have to go back over here. That's okay. Uh, we'll move him back. We'll dig him in. I'll take that satellite back. Or the solar panel. I always, always, always call those satellites. I Every single time. Like, there is there is no stopping me from calling those satellites. Okay. So this guy's going to be right here. Uh, something like that. We're going to take this off. Uh, like that. And then, actually, we could probably dig. Okay, if we do that, and then boop, 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 boop. Just kind of... Just kind of hold him in here. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, I don't want to fall through the planet, though. I don't want it that dug in. <laughs> I at least want to be able to see all of it. Okay. Alright, I think that's good. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Uh, it looks like the front end's actually kind of smashing down a little bit. Uh, that'll work, actually. And then we'll just build up right here. Like that? Okay, perfect. Alright, now. We need to get resin. We need lots of resin. Oh, should we go see where our winch is at? Let's go see where our, our winch is at. Oh, it's not that far away. It took us right to resin. That's perfect. Okay, let's zoom back in here. And we're gonna get some resin. We're gonna get this guy hooked up. And ready to go, getting some power for the base, which will be more power than we'll have anything to know what to do with. And especially if we can get batteries going. Uh, that actually probably be enough, because it only takes one, one little resin to extend the base a little bit. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll extend out here. And we're just going to follow this. Just right around here. Don't move the camera, because that's terrible. Holy moly. And then we'll do this one. Why would you? I didn't move the camera. Oh, actually, that's good. Just like that. Now, this is still good, right? This is still connected. It is still connected. All right. So this looks atrocious right now. I know the base, it, it needs work, but that is what future episodes are for. Now, we are going to wait until daylight to make sure this works because I want you guys to see it. I want you to see it working in action. It's exciting. And then... I kind of, I really want to go find some dynamite just to blow up this stupid wench and see if it blows this thing up. Because this is just obnoxious. This is so annoying. And there's nothing like, I can't even select it to do anything. And no matter how many times I hit this, no matter how hard I click that button, it doesn't... I thought it did something for a second. No, it's not. Okay. Alright, so, uh, well, what do we need to do? We need to, we need to power drain something. Whoa, hey! That reset. You, but they don't do that. Well, I didn't think they did. Interesting. Maybe now they do. I don't know. I guess that's something for a future episode. Uh, okay. These batteries. These batteries don't have hardly anything in them. Which is a good thing. And then, so yeah, we're gonna be waiting. We'll wait here. And wait, what did I get? Oh, I got the open three seat. I think. Did I get anything out of here? Oh, it's drill head. I got the drill head too. Uh, worthless. Absolutely worthless. So we're gonna wait for daylight, which should be any moment now. And then we'll get the solar panel uh, ops check going. Make sure the solar panel's good. I guess we could plug in the truck too. We'll plug this guy in. We'll plug the rover in. Make sure it gets powered up. It should. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just draining those batteries. It is. It's just draining the little batteries. That's fine. Because we'll see if it. Ooh, that thing is a shaking. It's a shaking. Shaking like a leaf on a tree. Uh. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. We got a cage in there pretty good. You will not escape. You are my beast um, So and you know, I I know it used to be where if once you set it and logged out and logged in it would be like set uh, as you know like from before When I was digging it out and stuff like that it was it was like set there It wasn't like rocking around or anything like that and it used to be if you logged out and logged in it would be set and then you could build uh, You could build up around it. And it would just go around it like the the terrain tool and everything would just build through it around it. It wouldn't cause any collisions or anything like that. I don't know if that's the case anymore. 
Uh, you know what? Actually, let's uh, let's find out real quick. We'll do that. We'll we'll log out, log in, see if it does that. All right, let's check and see if this guy's set. No, he's still rocking around. Okay, so that is not the case anymore. I honestly didn't think it was anyways. Uh, I would have been a little surprised if it was. Because that was really actually handy, especially for these things, because once you could get them set in the ground, you won't have to worry about them moving. But daylight is coming. I will bring you back before daylight. Before the crack of dawn, which is actually right now. All right, well, I mean, yeah, well, we're going to have to wait because it's still actually not laying down like I wanted it to. I really wanted it to be laying down more. And I'm kind of worried if this is actually going to catch the sun enough or not. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see. Oh, it appears to be working. Uh, it's catching, it's catching some rays, because that guy's on. Now, yep, there it goes. There it goes! We got solar panel power! We got super solar panel power! Oh, look at that. Charged up. That's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she needed. That's exciting. Alrighty, well, we have the power supply for the base under control. It looks a little rough, but we can always fix it later. Uh, but yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. And, uh, oh yeah. <laughs>